Hello my friend and welcome to my channel today. I've got Born Pretty Overprint L002 swatches. Here is the plate. I'm going to get this blue film off of it. Get it clean and ready to use. So there we go. I am cleaning this with pure acetone with a cotton ball on my cotton claw and a paper towel. I'll be using my AliExpress Stamper and my Clear Jelly Scraper today. I've got a bunch of um, Born Pretty polishes sitting out, so there's just no telling what I'm going to grab. None of mine have names or numbers or anything anyway, so it's just like, like this one. It's just the dark green. I don't know what that is. I think they're doing better on that stuff now, but you know, back in the day, not so much. <laughs> So I'm getting more comfortable with these layering plates, just like everything we do here. Um, the more you do, the more you play, the more you figure it out. So it's it's definitely a learning process, but it's it's been a lot of fun, and I'm having a great time doing these swatch videos of these three plates that they sent me. And I'm really impressed with the quality. Um, I, w I didn't have any trouble with images. Any problems I had with anything was due to me. Um, <laughs> not the plate. Uh, picking out wrong colors or whatever. But I really like this one with the green and the white and black. I thought that one was pretty cool. Kind of a little different. So, like I said, I, you know, I really enjoyed this. And, like there, I'm scraping too hard. That's a my bad thing. That's not nothing to do with the plate. It's just... You know, heavy-handed Tina here. So I am going to double stamp that one and try to get, you know, just a little more opaqueness on that nail. There we go with some gold. And a lot of these swatches on this plate are probably going to be, the, a lot of them are going to be a lot of black, white, and golds. I am mixing in some other colors here and there, but... I, for the different colored nail tips that I already had ready, um, these colors just seem to show up better on it. Um, like I said, I am going to throw in some other colors. And like that last one, the green didn't show up that great, so I'm going in with a stamp of the same image with some blue. And, you know, you can do this when you do manicures with them. Because, you know, it looks cute. I was really happy to get this leaf plate because, you know, I do a lot of floral manis and a lot of times there aren't any greenery with it. So to have a plate like this that you can, you know, layer up as much as you want and, uh, you know, change them up and make them different, I, I really like that. I think that's going to be fun to, fun to use. my pink leaf pink and gold leaf <laughs> like I said I just I really want you guys to see how they swatch so I'm not really worried about color combos or anything of that nature I'm just swatching them I'm having fun doing it so I, at the end of the video I will go through them and pan through so you can see the swatches a little better um, you know, just when I get the camera to focus in and do it that way, I think it just works better than trying to always hold it up to the camera. I do a little bit of that, but, you know, sometimes it's just better to wait till the end and when I can get the camera to behave. There we go. Got a little craziness going on here. There we go. <coughs> I almost went too far, yo. I need this little bitty one. I'm losing it. That's why when I swatch a plate like this, I don't normally leave as much polish down as I can on the other images because it's it's easy to forget where you left off. 
but I am having to clean that one off because I had already covered it up with some, some polish. So there we go. You kind of can see it. Like I said, I will be showing them at the end because I don't do so well on the video, in the video, showing every single one of them. So, <clears throat> we'll show them at the end. Uh -huh. If you think about how many images are on this plate, it's kind of surprising, you know. I mean, because, you know, this is just one of the small rectangle plates, so... You actually get quite a few different full layer it up images. I mean, it's it's pretty impressive. Okay, I mean, some of the images are smaller, so that gives them room to do that. So I just think it's cool that none of the space was wasted. I like that one. That one's cool. But I really, really do like. I mean, I've always liked double stamping, and, you know, I remember when these plates first came out, I thought, oh, well, I can just do that with plates I already own, you know, you know, just pick different images, but, you know, it's just too much trouble to dig through all your plates and try to find images that are going to work together, you know, in this kind of, you know, stamping layering thing, and it's just so much easier to have it all on one plate, all together. And see, I like this one, too. That one's cool. And now for our flower, we've done a lot of leaves. Now we're going to do a flower. Yay! a basic flower which I think would work for a lot of manicures. We'll just be bopping on through it. Considering how many images are on this plate, you know, I think it's, I think we're moving through pretty quick. It is a rather long video, but there's just so many steps to it. And I did speed it up. I speed up almost all of my videos to where they just don't, you know, take forever. Um, real time is not really, really good for recording sometimes. It just, the videos end up so long. So I did speed it up. I think it's like 1.25 times. So it's not like crazy sped up. I'm not like getting all cartoonish, but I do, I do speed them up. And this one is no exception. And it's still long, so... And that, you can barely see the gold over it. And later, I hope you'll be able to see it when I show the swatch and the close-up. You know, that's my kind of groove right there. Some pink with some black, white, and gold. Cool. <laughs> All right, now we're getting to the top row. We're winding this one up. We're getting to the end. We've got a bright green nail. There we go. <laughs> I did use a lot of white, black, and gold on this one, for sure. Like I said, with these with these different colored nail tips, it's just, I think, easier to kind of pick something you, you, you think will show up better. <clears throat> Swoop. I like that one. Yeah, it'll work. And as you can see, I'm not using um, any special stamper or anything. This is not like a super sticky stamper or anything like that. It's just one of those little rectangle clear ones from AliExpress. It's not all that sticky, but it's picking up the images really well. Which tells me that this plate is etched nicely. Digging it. Those golds sometimes I have to pull back so I can see where is that going again? 
because those golds are a little more transparent on the stamper. There we go. Got that leaf. Leaf, flower, whatever it is. And this one almost looks like a feather. I don't know if it's feather or a leaf. I guess you could call it either one. And when you're stamping it, you can you can do that. You can name it whatever you want. But it does kind of look like a feather to me. <laughs> there we go. Last one. The outline. Okay, well now it looks more like a leaf. <laughs> So here we go with the um, swatches on parade. I really do like them. I think they turned out pretty cool. Like I said, it's getting easier the more I play with it to, um, you know, kind of get an understanding of what's which way they need to be layered. So that was pretty nice. So I'm going to roll back through them because I did kind of go through some of them pretty fast. And I do have like a swatch still photo, like if you want to pause it to kind of look at one in particular, um, make the screen big, I don't know. So here's that swatch photo. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.